welcome to Get the Facts, the program that provides you with information on government's policies and initiatives. I'm your host, Andrews Campbell. The Electoral Office of Jamaica is now renewing voter registration identification cards, and the Director of Elections, Mr. Glasspool Brown, joins us on this edition of Get the Facts with the update. Sir, welcome to the program. Good to be here. All right, so talk to us about this renewal um, exercise that you're doing now. Tell us about the scope of it. Uh, with the ECJ, the Electoral Commission of Jamaica, has embarked on a national program to renew all the ID cards. The current ID cards have an expired date of up to December 2019. However, we have taken a decision to extend the validity period of those cards to 2020. In the interim, we'll be embarking on a program to renew all of those cards, starting, as I said before, started on November 4th. Right. But not <laughs> everyone has to physically go in to renew their cards. That's correct. Yes. Well, we're saying that the persons whose card were issued between 2016 and 2019 currently do not need to visit or come in for, 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 to, to renew their cards. What will happen is that we'll take the information that we have in the current database and at the appropriate time we'll print those cards and then at that point we'll advise them. The individuals whose card were issued 2015 and before would have to visit one of our renewal sites or our constituency office to get their photographs retaken so as part of the process. All right, tell us why some persons have to redo the photographs and others don't have to. Um, a decision was taken that given the fact that the data for the 2016 to current is fairly new and therefore the features would not necessarily have changed. And therefore we took a decision that we'll use that data that we have and to, to renew those cards and we'll automatically print those cards when those are printed, we advise the electors. Yes. In terms of the 2015 and before, a decision has taken that over time the features would have changed. You get a gray here, et cetera, et cetera, and the physical feature would have changed. And to a certain extent, there might be those whose color would have changed. Um, and as such, we have taken a decision to, to, to cater to that grouping. So the 2015 and before would have to visit all the, con all the renewal sites and get their photographs retaken. All right. the process. So all the cards that, uh, that we have now, they will expire when? All right. They were supposed to expire in December 2019, but we have taken a decision to extend it a further year. And it will give us some time for the, for the transition from the old card to the new card. So we anticipate that for, so, so currently, the current card that's currently in the system is valid up to 2019, 2020, that is December 2020. And we have taken the opportunity to advise the bankers. We have taken the opportunity to advise the government departments and the business sector in terms of the validity of these cards. So they should be still be accepted by the public as being valid okay. up to December 2020. Right. So you said they can either go into the EOJ offices or they can go to renewal centers. All right. Yes, talk to us about What we have done in order to, to, to provide some level of convenience to our electors, we have established for approximately 270 what we call renewal ID card centers. These are centers that we have established across the island in the 63 constituencies. In addition to that, we have roughly 73 constituency offices. So in effect, we have a total of roughly 200, 330 sites approximately. And the individuals can, can go to any one of those sites and in one of those locations and get their photographs retaken. And a major plank of this exercise, and to let it more convenient again for the elector, you can go to any sites across the island. Yes, yes. So for example, if you are registered in Central Clarendon and you're currently living in Portmore, you don't have to go back to Central Clarendon. You could go to any location in St. Catherine or any, anywhere in Jamaica but, um, that is more convenient to you and get your card renewed. And to pick up the cards, you go... All right, to pick up the card, what we'll be doing is that when you come into the renewal center, you would indicate to us your, your preferred option in terms of where you want to pick up your card. You'll have two options. One is to go back to where you're originally registered, or you can come back to the constituency that you currently take, like the photograph for the renewal. What we'll be doing is to take, we'll be taking everybody's um, telephone number, email address. As soon as the card is ready, We'll send you an email or we'll send you a text message. Is there a deadline to this exercise? Um, the process will continue. What we, we urge persons not to wait until we, we next year, but to as best as possible to come in at a convenient time to them. Um, the process, as I said before, we'll, we're going to review it every three months to see whether that we continue the, the opening of the renewal sites. But um, the process will continue until everybody's card is renewed. Okay, okay. But bear in mind, though, sometime during the course of 2020, 
we'll be advising the banks and the government agencies and the business sector that the old card is no longer valid. Right. And therefore, those cards will no longer be accepted by the business sector no, or, or, or the government sector. And as such, so persons must not wait until the appointed time to come in, but use the window that is available now and get their, their card renewed. Yeah. Voter registration is ongoing, as you said, right? Right. So um, people, people need to now start going to get their cards uh, renewed. Right. Okay. Uh, did you tell us where to find, the, where can we go to find information on the Renewal Center? On www.ecj.com.jm. Or you can call into our offices and we'll advise you where are the different locations, the days that are open, the, the sites are open. Uh, the so they're not open all the time? No. no. All the constituencies' offices, that is 73 yes. designated constituency yes. offices, are open six days per week, Monday to Friday. Monday to Friday at um, 9 o'clock to 4.30. On a Saturday from 9 a.m. to 3, 3 p.m. The designated uh, renewal centers, they are open at different days. Those are open from 9 o'clock to 3.30 on a Monday to Friday and on a Saturday 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Yes, yes. How is exercise going so far? Fairly good. Um, I think in the first week we had close to 45,000 persons that, that, that went to one of our sites across the island and got their card. They did the necessary information in terms of the, 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 the necessary data that started the process. You spoke earlier about the EAC and the EOJ. Tell us what are the, just tell us what are the roles. All right, the ECJ is basically the commission. In effect, it's one, one better way of putting it is the board of the, of the electoral office. And the electoral office is the operating arm of the ECJ. And therefore, it is our responsibility, the EOJ that is, to undertake whatever field work that there needs to be done as it relates to manning of election, run of election, um, collecting of data, registering electors, et cetera, et cetera. What I need to remind you also about this exercise of card renewal is that it is free. There's no cost to it. I was coming to that. There's no cost to it. There's no cost so, okay, to what it. If some, what if someone wants to update their picture as we wrap the, this session, this uh -huh. segment? If someone wants to change their pictures because they, picture they don't like it. Um, if there's a need for you, the, the individuals, 15, 2015 and before, those, all of those photographs will be changed. If you're in a batch from 2016 to 29, you want to get a more modern, <laughs> updated photograph, you can come to office and indicate to us that you want to do so and we'll allow you. So we're talking about voter ID registration card and we're going to come back with more information for you. So we'll take a break now. Garbage collection, maintenance of public sanitary conveniences, upkeep of cemeteries, provision of water shops, road improvement, street lights, poor relief programs, community beautification, all these services are funded by you. Yes, they are, when you pay your property tax. Pay your annual property tax to make Jamaica the place of choice for all. Welcome back to Get the Facts. We continue our discussions with Director of Elections, Glasgow Brown. Tell us, before we start this, tell us, um, there are some persons who can't come into, into the center at all, who, who mm. are informed, probably living in some area, uh, some of these places that they can't come. Is there any kind of, do you help in this? All right. We, we have a facility in place for the individuals who can't attend to one of our renewal sites. For example, the person who is infirm or who is sick. Right, right. All they need to do is to get in touch with the returning officer for the different constituencies, and the returning officer will make an arrangement to go and visit them wherever. Excellent. And, and, and capture the necessary data. Very good. So that facility is in place. Yes, and they move with the camera and so on. Move with the camera, move. everything. Excellent. Yeah. All right. So this new card will have a lifespan of 10 years. The card's always had a lifespan of 10, 10 years, years, yes? Yeah. Yeah. Right. But it, it has now increased security features. Talk to us about that. Right. These are improved cards. They will have a lifespan of 10 years. Um, therefore, it will be valid from 2020 to 2030. What will happen is that the, the, we have moved from the ordinary PVC-based card to what we call the modern polycarbonate. It's, it's on a similar make of uh, those of individuals who have a, a green, green card, card yes. or a candidate mm -hmm. registration card. They have that quality. And it's of the latest security feature. It has certain security features. It's, it's, it's tamper proof. Yes. And that's something that you can take out a person's photograph and insert another per, per person's photograph. It will work. Um, as I said, we, are, we have built within that card certain feet, security features that 
I would not admit, let it be known publicly, but we have that feature in there. So it's, it's an upgraded card in, in terms of this, the, all the security features. There. And everything would be produced here in Jamaica? The card itself would be imported, but they put they will be putting all the information, the photographs and then and, and the names, et cetera, et cetera. We don't locally by right. the EO at the EOG office. Right. Okay. Good. So um well, let's move now to the to the the, the, the dead removal exercise. The right. removal of electors who have died. Uh, how is that going? It's going fair, fairly well. Um, we embarked on a program earlier this year. Uh, the first phase was completed in April. We are now on in the what we call the confirmation phase. And the next list that will be published on the 30th of November will see a considerable amount of those dead electors being removed from, being removed from the list. Um, we, we, we anticipate that we're going to remove in excess of 70,000 persons from the list. Yeah. Bear, bear in mind our target, which should up to next year, November, is to roughly to, to remove in excess of 200,000 persons. Yeah. Please so, remind us of that process. How do we do that? How do we? My mother has been dead for many years. Mm -hmm. What do I do to get her name removed from the list? Right. Well, what, what you need to do is, so first we need to verify that the person is dead. And you can do so by conducting offices. And we have a process that we have in, in terms of interaction with stakeholders, RGD, um, wherever there is in terms of the d information. So there's a verification process. After that, now it is our office staff, that is the ROs and the ROs, et cetera, who then seek to confirm to make sure that the person is dead because we don't want to remove somebody from the yes, list at the end yes, of the year, election yes, day, the person yes. turns up and, is, yes. and so it creates a problem. So there's a confirmation phase, and the confirmation phase includes getting the burial order, the death certificate, a program, etc., or some information from somebody who is in the know that the person has died. Yes. After we are satisfied that the person have actually died, then we go through the process of removing them from the list. And this is done twice per year. We will publish a list in, in, in May and, and November of okay. each year. Okay. Um, the persons who come out of your offices, though, to to, to to take these names. I happen to know that if they come, that they have set names from A to, to C, for example, mm -hmm. um, they are not going to be taking the name for somebody whose name will start with a D. How, 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 do, how can you deal with those issues? Um, what, what we do, we basically, um, when they come out, they come more in terms of with data arm for a particular geography area. Yes. So they will have all the names for the person in a particular geographical area. And therefore, we seek to get whatever information from, be it from relatives, be it from the community, et cetera, et cetera. Um, if, if in the process we are advised that, the person, that somebody who is not on the list have died, then there are certain things that the process we go through in terms of collecting that data, and then we continue the process of confirmation. Okay. Yeah, so it's, it's a rigorous uh, process yes, in the sense yes, that we want yes. to ensure that whoever removed yes. is actually, yes. are, that we are supposed to remove them from the list. Right. So the commission is this year celebrating 40 years. Tell That's us correct. about any yeah. plans you have yeah. to, to celebrate this uh, milestone. They, we are celebrating 40 years. The EHC was established in um, 1979. And therefore, and it marks itself in 2006 into so, the ECJ. Yes. And therefore, we are celebrating. I would think we have a track record, which we are proud, very proud of. Yes. We are one of the most recognized elect management body across the world in terms of our work. And as such, we'll be highlighting what we have achieved. We start a process in, I think, in the second week in December with a church service. We're going to have a, a public forum, and a public forum will be centered more so in terms of voter apathy. Um, there's, a there's a problem in terms of persons somewhat reluctant to go out and exercise yes. their, their, their vote. So we're looking at it. There will be a public forum to look at those. Yeah, public forum, forum OK. Yes. To look at that, to come up with recommendations, and hopefully we'll be able to uh, implement yes. some of those recommendations. And at the same time, we're having a supplement out there, which will be highlighting all our achievements over the last 40 years. Can you give us an update on some of the achievements quickly? Um, so actually, we have moved. If you remember what happened and what transpired in, 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 in the 70s in terms of the political tension, um, we have certainly achieved in terms of the integrity of the system and acceptability of the system. If you remember in 2016, the one, the one, the current governing party only won by one seat. Yes. And it was fairly acceptable mm -hmm. by the general public, accepted by the general public. Um, we have achieved in terms of going to using greater use of biometrics in the process. Yes. 
we have, we have moved in terms of greater use of technology in the process, et cetera, et cetera. Good job, good job. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, I know we've talked already about renewal, but, but persons listening or watching may believe mm -hmm. that if they're not on the list, they can't come in to get an ID card. No, the process continues. Yes. Um, if somebody who is not yet registered and want to, to, to get registered, yes. the process continues. Mm -hmm. um, you can still go and visit your constituency's of offices and they'll carry you through the process. Um, if you need to do, for example, and I would encourage persons to, who are currently on the list also, yes. to, if they are not currently residing somewhere else yes. and they want to transfer their vote to a new constituency, the opportunity is there for you to do so. Okay, thank you so very much, Mr. Brown for sharing with us today on Get the Facts. Thank you, good to be here. So this has been Get the Facts with our guest, Glasgow Brown, Director of Elections at the Electoral Office of Jamaica. For information on the voter ID card renewal process, you may contact the Electoral Office of Jamaica at 876-922-0425-29 or toll free at 1-888-991-VOTE. That's 1-888-991-8683. You may also visit NEOJ office island-wide. Until next time, I'm Enthros Campbell. Take good care. Motorists, when driving on the road, here are some simple reminders. Look out for and extend courtesy to all road users. Give plenty of room to pedestrians, especially in wet weather. Drive slowly, no bother wet them up. Slow down when approaching a pedestrian crossing or school and always be prepared to stop. Remember, a school zone is a 30 kilometer zone. Cut your speed. Drivers of large and slow-moving vehicles should always keep in the far left hand of a dual carriageway. Keep it simple. Drive left and pass right. These are just simple reminders of your road duties. Drive safely.